Greetings to everyone who's watching me right about now. I have an amazing, powerful word yet again for you. This is a word to jumpstart your day, especially if you have been going through a lot of delays, if you have been going through a lot of spiritual warfare. Whether you like it or not, there is a war that is taking place. And a lot of people are so blinded to the fact that they are going through that war. You see, it is first in the spiritual before it comes in the physical. So whatever you are seeing in the physical, if there is a fight in the physical, there is a fight already in the spiritual. If there is delay in the physical, there has already been delay in the spiritual. So it is important to approach these things in a spiritual way. You see, even the heathens, the children of this world, they understand spiritual things. So my brothers and sisters, be alert. Be alert at all times. That is why I have a word for you. You who is watching me right now, I have a word for you. The word is, the wicked have set up multiple traps against you. So be very careful. Your movements, your speech, your lifestyle. They desire to have you stumble. Jesus said to Peter, by that time Peter, his name was Simon. He said to him, Simon, Simon, the devil has asked for you to sift you like wheat. You see, the devil desired to sift Simon like wheat. Some of you, that situation, you need to get in your prayer, prayer closet and pray about it. You need to speak to that mountain. Because some of you, there are many traps that have been set up against you. And these traps are to kill you. These traps are to destroy your life. The Bible says it clear that the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that you may have life and have it abundantly. The only goal of the thief, the motive is to steal, kill, and destroy. Be very careful. Not everyone who smiles with you means well. Not everyone who calls you sister or brother has good intentions towards you. There are some people who have diabolic intentions. Their intention is to destroy your life. Be alert. Let me read to you a scripture that is from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 110, 105, 212. I'll just repeat it. Psalms chapter 119, verse 105 to 112. I'll read from the New Living Translation. The Bible says, Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I have promised it once and I will promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O oh Lord. Restore my life again as you promised. Lord, accept my offering of praise and teach me your regulations. My life constantly hangs in the balance. The wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. Your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. I am determined to keep your decrees to the very end. This is what the psalmist wrote. This is a writing by the psalmist. He had observed these things. 
And this is what he came, this was his conclusion, that the word is a lamp to guide his feet. I don't care what you're going through. You may be going through a lot of things, delays. You may have done something that you're not proud of, but the Bible says the, lamp, the word is a lamp to guide your feet. The word of God is a lamp. That shows you something about the world you are living in. You see, a lot of people think that the spiritual world is a world that is full of light. No, it is a dark place. The spiritual realm is a dark place, a very dark place. So for you to navigate through the spiritual realm, you need light. You need light. And how do you get that light? It's through the word of God. Because the word is light. It's a lamp to guide your feet. And a light for your path. Whatever path, whether it is your career path, it is in your marriage, your family. The light, the word is a light for your path. Now, I love what the scripture says. It says that the wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. There are a lot of wicked people. We are living in a wicked generation. Where people set up traps. Have you heard of the story of uh, Mordecai and Haman? Where Haman set up a trap to see that Mordecai is hung. But notice that the same gallows that Haman had set up are the same gallows that were used to hang him down. I want to encourage you that the same trap that your enemy has set up for you is the same trap that you will fall into. It is the same trap. So trust in God. Whatever you are going through, that is going to bring you out. I'm just here to encourage you. I'm just here to speak a word of encouragement. As long as it's called today, I will encourage you. Because I know many of you need this word for today. Not for tomorrow, it is for today. Well, brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want to get connected to me, you can do so by sending me a message. I've always put down my details. My WhatsApp number is in the About section. Also, my email address is in the About section. Until next time, Shalom.